Hey guys, and welcome back to part 8, I think. Um, while I was off screen, I quickly extruded this, um, and I just forgot to save it, the um, step before this one. So I'm just going to quickly talk you through what I've done. Uh, basically, you should have this piece going all the way up here, only to here, okay? So basically, all I've done is selected these faces, okay on the mesh so all of these which for you should be sitting in here so I selected all of those and now I just hit extrude and pulled it out okay and then what you have to do is basically just add an edge loop so insert edge loop um, and add an edge loop in here so it will hold this corner okay and then you should have the exact same result that I have and then we're just going to go ahead and um, move this where it should be sitting. So um, this edge should be sitting on there, like so. I might just going to move this in a tad so it's sitting inside it a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and move this down. And we're going to go ahead and rotate. A little bit, maybe like so, and just move it down a little bit more. Okay, so now it's sitting at the right place and it's looking all good. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to edit, delete all by type, history, and delete all by type, non deform history. And then now we're gonna have a clean scene to start working on. Um, I might even move this down. A little bit more because there will be there will be a piece sitting on top of this so uh, that bit is not going to be seen so that's looking pretty good to me and we're going to go ahead and model in this piece that you can't see here but it's sitting on top of this so I got a reference image and another screen that I'm using and we're going to probably get the faces of this one um, or we could even just make a cube we could get the faces of this one and it saves us the hassle of um, nah because we got too much uh, geometry so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, just gonna go ahead and um, make it from scratch so I'm gonna come down here and we're going to go ahead and create a cube so this is going to pull out a rough size, we're going to scale it around later on so there we go and i got my cube right there and basically the shape that we need is this vertex these verts going to have to move out to about here and then if we select this face and hit extrude and scale it in uniformly and scale it in this way as well so we get a shape like this and then I'm going to go ahead and hit extrude again go into my perspective mode and I'm just going to drag it out a tad so give it some thickness like so and I'm just looking at my reference image making sure this is looking correct and basically this is the shape that we are looking for um, and now we're just going to have to obviously add the supporting edges so this will hold the shape okay so we're going to go ahead and do that right now so into edge loop tool and we're going to need an edge going down here and down this corner as well and then obviously we're going to need one going around this bit like so and we're also going to need one going around this bit and same on this side we need one going around there so that will hold that corner now and now I'm going to put one around here, around on the bottom 
around on this bottom edge and you're going to need one more on this edge and now looking at it I think this is looking pretty good the older edges in here I think um, just have a look at this you might just going to smooth this and see how it's looking I need one going around that corner and that corner will hold its shape hopefully and I'm just going to have a look around this corner as well to make sure that it's looking correct that looks alright then these edges are a bit close to each other but hopefully it will be fine okay so now it's looking good I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this and it's looking good to me I'm just going to make sure we've got the right edges in here and in here and just hit smooth one more time to check it again and that's looking pretty good if I just move this again and have a look what's going on here don't really like this edge so I'm just going to go ahead and move it a tiny bit closer and I'm just looking at it again making sure that it looks good just going to go ahead and move this edge a tiny bit further down Let's move again, and yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. Okay, so that's one piece that we needed. So we're gonna go ahead and move this in place now. So we're gonna just drag this up, and again, this will need to rotate. And if I have a look in here, it will tell me that it's rotated 70 on the Z. Rotate something, let's see if that works. No, it doesn't, so you're just gonna have to do it by eye, which is fine. So just gonna go ahead and rotate, and obviously, this will need scaling around because this will sit on the top here. I'm gonna have to scale this a little bit more. like so and it will go all the way to the end here and it will sit on top of that cube or that shape like so and if I just select these two and hit isolate go into my front view that way I'll be able to see Get a wide frame on shaded. That way I'll be able to see what's going on. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn wide frame and shaded off now. Have a look how it's looking. I might have to mm, that looks good. This edge needs to line up with that edge. So if I just go into my front view, select those vertices and select this, select the vertices, and we're gonna go ahead and snap to this point. And now they should be lined up just about right. That's looking pretty, pretty good. And I think we're going to drag this piece out a little bit, actually. So if I just undo that vertex snap and select them, these vertices again, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it out. So it will actually overhang 
this piece and then I'm going to go ahead and into my object mode and move this up to about there and now I'm just going to make sure that it's still sitting on there properly and we're going to rotate a tad if I find a right angle I don't think I need to rotate these on here I need one here you only have to rotate in Z so about there should do it I think and then just gonna go ahead and move this up a tiny bit more and I think now this is sitting on there perfectly. I think. Let's see if I move it down a tad. There we are. Okay, so now it's sitting on there. All nice and smooth. Then I'm going to see that bit so that it doesn't matter. And we might have to, if I isolate, I'm going to have to make this piece a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to hit scale. And if I move my pivot point um, to the bottom, well, actually, it'll be fine if we just scale it as it is. So I'm just going to scale it roughly twice the size of this and then move it back down oh. should have done this a little bit sooner actually going to scale it uniformly and then scale it out this way I'm going to have a look how that's looking now Yep, that's looking pretty good and I'm just going to go ahead and decide you and um, just move these vertexes up a little bit like so and hopefully it's looking good and I didn't I selected those vertices as well that I do not need so I'm going to go ahead and deselect them and then drag them up to about there and now that's looking good and now let me just have a look around it make sure that everything looks all good and nice and again we might have to scale this out this way again because we scaled it too much and it's looking pretty good now okay so now that we have this piece created there's gonna be an other piece sitting on the top of this piece which is gonna go into this and I think we're gonna have to move all of these down a tad so we're gonna have to <coughs> group them together so I'm going to hit control G after I name these, so square, actually back, square, head, um, square, piece, um, this is going to be back, head, uh, park, piece, everything else is named, what's this here? Uh, this is our small screw, so I'm just going to name this. Uh, what have we named the other ones? Don't know where the rest of them gone. Oh, there we are. Head, small, bot, screw, two. And now we got all them names, so I'm just going to go ahead and we could even, um, if I just go into my side view and select these vertices and just move them back just to make make it a little bit cleaner because that this bit is not going to be seen anyway but this way will be a little bit cleaner 
just to keep our mesh clean, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, group them all together now. Um, so this is gonna be uh, head back. And now we can go ahead and move all these after we center the pivot. And we're gonna go ahead and move this down. Okay, because we're going to need a little bit more space. Well, actually, I might even just fit. So, we might move it around a little bit more later on. And if I just move all my pieces, so they all look pretty. Um, we nearly got most of the head completed. So, in the next part, we're going to go ahead and finish the last piece which is going to be that piece sitting on the top of this and that should have um, made most of our stuff okay for the head and we should look pretty good we might looking at it I think we're gonna um, we're gonna have to extrude this face to make it a little bit wider but we're going to go ahead and do that in the next part as well. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next part.